Yo, it's been a few days since I made a video. Um, truth be told, I was at work, um, so I work on the weekend. Last video was before that, so there's your answer. Anyway, um, I recently finished Serious Sam, the first and second encounters together, um, or in other words, Serious Sam 1. Um, it's a load of fun. I made a video on it a few, uh, like a month or two ago about why I love the game. It's really fun. Moving on to Serious Sam 2. Uh, I'm quite a way through it right now, but I thought I'd make a tier list of all the enemies in Serious Sam 1 in terms of who I like, who I don't like, um, and how, like, in terms of how easy they are to deal with, um, in terms of en enemy encounters. Um, so this is purely based on the first encounter. Um, the second encounter enemies are not in here. Most of them transition over anyway, but the only enemies that were missing that I can s that I can't see on here from Serious Sam 2 are the Kerpidos and, um, the like the like red devil thingies but enough of that let's just get into it so i'm not gonna lie i might butcher some of these names because i don't really research the names of these um i'll do the ones with the names i know first and then um we will go from there so i'm gonna start off with this i think this is an ar arachnoid looks like a scorpion thing um you have two different versions you got the yellow one and the red one the red one is like the more uh, adult version so this, this is a bit beefier than the, the yellow one the yellow one in terms of how nice it is to see them going B tier takes one sniper bullet um fully zoomed in to kill it pretty easy um i do prefer, prefer enemies that are really easy to kill uh, like squishier enemies which is uh, always a plus so there's that um and they, they're not too bad to deal with personally um the red ones on the other hand can go to a d because they have like automatic hit scan, so like imagine Soldier 76's aimbot in um Overwatch 2. That's exactly what he's like, and it's it's a pain. So we will uh, ignore that. But uh, going off that, um, I will go for these biomechanoids, these big like ATT a uh, ATT looking things from like Star Wars. Um, blue one, it's gonna be goated. It's so nice to see one of these because it takes one sniper shot or one cannonball or like two shots of a shotgun it's so nice to encounter them because it's like a breath of fresh air because <clears throat> excuse me a breath of fresh air because they don't really hit you that hard and they're really easy, easy to deal with um the red one on the other hand that's like again the more adult version i put it in c tier i don't like seeing them it takes a few more rockets and they do a lot more damage than the blues anyway because these shoot rockets and these shoots like laser beams um like little cannons so it's not fun um I'm going to combine all three of these together. These lava golems here. So you've got large, medium, small. Small ones, easy. Again, they're just a sniper shot. I want an S, actually. Um, that's just one sniper shot for them. Um, the medium one, I'm going to put in A because it's the same, I think, um, if I remember correctly. I don't remember the size. Well, I'll say the size difference, but I could I could never tell the size difference. One just took a lot more damage than the other, so there's that. Um, the large one is an F because... Um, they weren't really as used as I wanted them to be. Um, they, they were harder when they first, when I first saw them, and then like two seconds later, they were the easiest things to kill. That's why they're going down there, but that's just me. Um, going in the F tier as well, Harpies and Clears. These two are so annoying to pl to fight. Harpies, um, the way that the game spawned them, they spawned them so far away in front of the lens flares. By the way, Serious Sam has some great lens lens flares. If you if you have Steam, go on Steam and buy the Serious Sam uh, Retribution Classics um, package. It's really fun. It's got the first and second encounters, and the game looks nice for its time. Um, but yeah, so the uh, the game will spawn harpies at the lens flare, and you can't see them until they go fully swoop down and. They, they come in such volume that like you'd be fighting things on the ground and then you have to look up and you get attacked by the things on the ground and the clears are so jarring to fight like you you walk into a room and you see a bunch of clears charging towards you granted you can just like sidestep them double barreled shotgun kills them every time but they throw chains at you and they come in hordes as well and they come at you so fast you don't know how to react because you can't like rocket launch them takes two rockets to kill one from my experience that's stupid unless i've been hitting it wrong then there's that it's it's just jarring and on top of that i'm gonna put the wearable in here as well because again it's the same thing they're, they're too fast for me anyway i might have slow reflexes but they're just too fast 
and the way they run at you full speed. I never found the right method to kill them effectively. I just used a cannonball. Um, uh, no, sorry, the sniper does work. So if you have a bunch of sniper ammo and you're good at like zooming in really quick, use the sniper. It's a one hit kill um, with most enemies in the game. But it still doesn't excuse the fact that uh, Crow team went ham with the wearballs and clears and decided, yeah, enough is enough. Just give them all, all of it. Just give them all of it. Just loads. But there's that. Um, moving on to like the smaller enemies here, besides like these, these big ones. Um, the, I think they either called the Gnar or the Gnar. It's pronounced, it's spelled like G-N-A-R. I call them the, the Gnar, but most people call them Gnar. Um, I'm going to put them in SS, to be honest. They're just really easy and squishy to, to, do, to deal with. And I, again, it's a breath of fresh air to, to see them. Along with the iconic Kamikazes. Now, playing Serious Sam 2, um, the sprite looks a lot different. I'm not happy about it. Um, but that's just me, because I like the iconic look of the kamikaze and the scream as well. Because you, you you know they're there, like you can hear them coming from a mile away, so you can you can prepare yourself for it. And it's not that hard to deal with. This you, you can use the Colts, like the standard Schofield pistols they give you at the start of the game. You can use them to get rid of them. They they do come in big packs because they are kamikazes after all. But uh, group them all together, shoot one, they're all dead. It's like a chain reaction. It's so fun. Um, but there's that. Uh, then we go on to the beheaded um, Empyreans, I think they're called, or Syrians, one of them. Um, I'm going to put the the bomber, the, the, this like little grenade guy, in C, because he just chucks shit at you constantly. He keeps throwing stuff, and it's just annoying. Um, same with the Rocketeer. Um, he will go in C as well, just because it does the same thing. It just keeps shooting and shooting and shooting. Um, you know, I'll put them all in C, because like, they're, they're not hard to deal with. It's just like they... They run away from you sometimes and they'll just keep blasting you from a distance and it's really it's really annoying to deal with but that's just me um but these two enemies here the electric fish and the marsh hoppers the marsh hopper is just chainsaw fodder to be quite honest um at least the version of serious sam that i played gives you the chainsaw in the first game rather than like in the first encounter which i don't think is actually a thing in the actual encounter but in the package i i, I played it gives you it from the bat so, you get trapped in a room with marsh hoppers quite a lot. They're just chainsaw fodder. Um, they do come in big hordes. So, the, my best advice is to keep moving and just hold the left mouse button on the chainsaw. Um, or like a minigun or a tommy gun. They're really squishy and easy, easy, to, easy to deal with. Sorry. Um, so, there's that. The electric fish as well. You don't see them a lot. So, I'm going to put them in F just because you don't see them that often. But when you do, they just spawn out of nowhere uh, in the water. And they will, uh, they will rock your world, but they're not that hard to deal with at the same time. So, there's that. Um, then we go on to these uh, these big big guys. Um, I don't know what the names are. Um, but these two here aren't that bad. The green one is a uh, B tier because it's not that hard to deal with. It's um, a couple of rocket launchers or a cannonball. And I think three sniper shots or four. Um, the only bad side to these two enemies is, oh no, I think it's just the green one actually. This one shoots like homing balls, like big snot looking balls that were, you, you can shoot, but if I, you, you just like dodge them because they'll circle you and then they'll hit the ground eventually. So if you can work that out, that's fine. But um, they tend to hide off in the distance. So if you have a sniper or anything long range or you, you can just see where they're firing from, you should be fine. Just sidestep a little bit. Um, you'll be fine. Same with the orange one. I think he shoots lava rocks or like just a yellow version of the snot ball. Um, I'm going to put him in C just because I don't really like him to be honest. Um, it's the same as the green one. They're just different colors. But I think some of the enemies are colored different to be more like uh, more tanky. The only difference being the, the NARS because the bl you have a female, a, a female and a male version. That's why they're different. I think same for all these actually but... I could be wrong. Um, then we move on to the boss, Oogzon, the third. Big motherfucker, big bloke. Um, in terms of the boss fight, it was really bad. Um, it was just a long, drawn out fight. Like, you have to go from, you have to walk in a straight line in this open Egyptian field to the pyramid at the end of the game um, for the first phase. And then 
you go into the space the Syrian spaceship to fight him again took so long to me an hour so in terms of a boss that I've fought in a game before like I fought so many bosses in so many games reminds me of a doom boss anyway I'm gonna put him in D tier but that pretty much completes the serious um, first encounter enemy tier list. I'll do one for the second encounter as well. I'm sure there's one out there. Um, but that'll be a, another video for another day. Anyway, uh, I wanted to get a video out just to um, just to get something out there because I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, and yeah, apart from that, thank you for watching. It's been Carl Donuts. Have a great rest of your day. Portal 2 will be back soon. Same with the Terraria series. I know people have been uh, loving the support on that. Um, loving the views and stuff. It means a lot. Thank you very much for all the support you showed me. Um, if you do want to subscribe, feel free. We are aiming for 200 subscribers by the end of the year. And we have like six months to do it. Um, no. I think it's like eight, actually. But we've got a lot of time. So thank you uh, for watching. And I will see you later. Peace out.